I'm Jochen Steil, the coordinator of the Kogimon project, which means Cognitive Compliant Interaction in Motion. And uh, the actual target of the project is understand contact. So we see a lot uh, of robots now coming out of the cage, interacting with people, touching, measuring forces. But what does it mean, the force? If you uh, look to humans, now if we touch each other or if we jointly do something, we're not just uh, regarding the partner as uh, some noise or disturbance to our action, we understand what he or she is doing. Uh, so you can take a role, you can go ahead and uh, things like that. Current robots have no understanding of forces. So they can, uh, can regulate their own forces to some degree but typically just to give way or to stop, but they cannot actively understand, they cannot act actively manipulate jointly things. And that's what we are up to for humanoid robots, but also for industrial robots, for joint manipulation. Okay, and what do you think the main challenges that you'll face will be? Um, there are many challenges, because this is a sort of um, very complex interaction skill. So we have to combine things like perception, manipulation, uh, compliant control. Um, but there are two particular things I want to mention. Uh, one is that for human robots, we don't even have a good uh, approach, a good theory how to do full body impedance. That's uh, to be done. And that's what the project will be up to. And for maybe more industrial oriented projects, uh, we develop the system modeling and system development tools to integrate, to have a safety integrated design of this uh, joint action. And ideally, what will be the outcome of the whole thing? Well, we uh, target three scenarios. Um, uh, one will be uh, sort of not a contact scenario, but body reading, so we want to juggle uh, with uh, patients in some therapeutic juggling kind of thing to activate people and that uh, also um, implies a lot of knowledge and a lot of understanding of what kind of context forces will, will be coming to you through, through the ball which we juggle with. We target a team interaction with two humanoid robots, maybe two humans. Each of the humans or the robots can leave and enter the contact at any time for some, some joint manipulation carrying the large object, not necessarily heavy, but just makes this happen. And the same holds for a more industrial oriented scenario where we target joint manipulation with several robot arms, like uh, moving large packages and something like that, where again, at any time, a human can enter the contact, can leave the contact, a robot can leave, can enter, and that in a safety uh, proof manner.